Yo, welcome back to that's where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Portia D. Williams and her estranged husband, Simon Gobadi, a child. We know that they're going through a divorce. Portia is citing that she ain't know her man, that she was moving too fast, didn't know her man, didn't know that he was a fraudster, didn't know that he defrauded the U.S. government, didn't know that they kept denying him citizenship because he uh, defrauded the U.S. government using different names and sham marriages and all of these other different things. He owed a million dollars to the jet company, didn't respond to the lawsuit. Now he has a default judgment, et cetera, et cetera. Mounting debt. Okay, wondering eyes and mounting debt. Um, had to have wondering eyes because how the hell is you out here with Body by J and your Habisha Sis Yasmin, okay? Just two weeks after she didn't file for a damn divorce. And somehow, some way, people have tried to tell y'all, okay, yes, y'all, that Portia is messing with another or was messing with another married African man while still being married to Simon Gobadia and jump ship at the last second. How? Now, listen, I'm not saying that that's not true. But what I'm saying is we've seen, um, you know, Simon out here with other women. We have yet to see Portia out here with another man's except her baby dad's uh, Mr. Dennis McKinley, the MAGA supporter, the Trump supporter. So anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Uh, now they're going back and forth onto social media. Not really back and forth. It's been Simon Gobadia who's been incessant when it comes to like, I don't want to use the word bully, but like just constantly throwing shade via social media. And I ain't never met no $40 million man. I ain't never seen no $40 million man that was that petty. It's like, how are you this busy? How are you this rich? How are you this like, you know, uh, involved in all of this, you know, business stuff. And yet you have the time to sit on social media and like antagonize a woman. It's just really petty. And listen, we knew who Simon Gobadia was with Fallon Pina. OK, we knew who he was with Fallon Pina. But at the same time, it still boggles my mind to see a grown ass man. Drink 50 uh, old fashions a day uh you know 25 packs of uh cigars and sit up there on instagram and kiki and uh he he okay kiki and he he with the girls about someone that he's actively divorcing because i'm not saying portia is a perfect angel i'm not saying that she ain't said nothing but what i'm saying is she i think is trying to like not really speak about the situation and not really like go the fuck in on you but it's like you keep asking for it and asking for it and it's annoying and now you had to do a whole q a onto instagram so listen um they're filming the real housewives of atlanta right now shamia just turned 42 um they had a birthday party for miss shamia morton we know that they are filming for the show she's a new um housewife a full-timer gerald her husband got her a rolls royce and we saw videos circulating all over instagram about it right i believe it was a white party and i think shamia was the only one wearing blue i think maybe Somebody fact check me in the comments down below. Listen, so Simon went under the Bravo shade room onto Instagram, right? And commented under the video where um, Shamia was jumping for joy because her husband gifted her a Rolls Royce, right? Uh, Simon said, congratulations to my good sis, Shamia Morton. I'm so happy for you. My brother, Gerald, has excellent taste in fine automobiles. Okay, I'm um, looking forward to watching the only cast member with a Rolls Royce. Okay, so Simon, you just admitted that you're going to be tuned into every episode of season 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, so at this point, I don't know if we're going to call him Simon or Simone. Um, listen, then, oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Then a few hours later, Portia then clapped back and said, Simon, don't forget, and a debt-free husband who is a U.S. citizen. She meant to say citizen. Okay. Um, I think Simon meant to say automobiles with an S and I think Portia meant to say U.S. citizen without an S. She says, my bestie stay winning. Welcome to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a whole hot mess. And listen, I'm not upset with Portia because Portia was minding her business. Portia is filming for her show. OK, she's no longer with the 40 million dollar man. So guess what? She has to work and she can do that. OK, and if she wants to move out of that Sandy Springs mansion, she can do that because like you've cited, Simon, she has the $1.8 million mansion in Duluth. Okay? Okay? So let me just, let me get this straight, okay? Let me set the record straight for the people in the back that want to compare Portia and Fallon's situation. It is completely different. 
okay? Fallon got left. Simon left Fallon, okay? In this situation, Portia left Simon. It's not the same. Please stop trying to make it seem like it's the same. It's not the same. Fallon did not have a job nor a pot to piss in except for a business that Simon was in control of and took it back when he divorced her, okay? Portia Williams was a millionaire on her own, successful on her own, has a, uh, a, a job and a name for herself on her own and did all of that without Mr. Simon Gabadia, okay? She was a millionaire. She had money. She had jobs. She has access. She had the looks. She has the ass. She has the perky titties. She has the gorgeous face. She was on the reality TV series. Had a spinoff when she got with Simon. Okay. A self-actualized woman. An accomplished woman. A successful woman. Her and Fallon are not the same. Okay. It's not the same situation. Fallon did not have anywhere to go once they sold, um, uh, you know, the marital home. Okay, and don't get it confused, even though, right, Portia is fighting to stay in the Sandy Springs mansion, which she has every right to do because it's a part of a contract. A prenup is a contract stating that this is where I'm going to live and this is where you're going to live. If we ever file for a divorce, people keep saying, well, why is she fighting this and why is she doing this? Because we signed a contract and we need to go with the contract. What's the point of having the prenup if you're not going to follow the prenup? It's her right. It's her right. Speaking of U.S. citizen, it's her right as a U.S. citizen. Okay. Because in America, no. So this whole thing, well, now, you know, she was making fun of Fallon, which Portia never made fun of Fallon. Portia never really talked about Fallon. I think in one interview when Portia was, I think she was, I don't know if she was promoting her book, but she was on a press tour for something. And they asked her about Fallon and she said, I don't want to talk about her. I don't want to talk about that. So this whole thing of, oh, Portia, you know, this is karma. She stole the man's husband. She did this. She said this. She was kikiing and ha ha and then laughing at Fallon. She ain't never talked about Fallon, but Fallon on a numerous of occasions has talked about Portia in order to sell a reality TV show to zoos that don't nobody want to watch. Portia and Fallon are not the same. The fact that y'all want to conflate and equate I think is intellectually dishonest, it's disingenuous, and I'm not standing for the shit. But it's how, oh, Portia, Fallon, Portia, they're not the same, child. If she leaves Simon, she's going to be just fine on her own. She doesn't have to go to Bala Alert and use someone else's relationship uh, for clout in order to sell a show. She is the clout. Portia is the clout. She's the only Atlanta housewife that we've talked about since forever what other housewife has been on the blogs this much what other housewife has been talked about this much i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying portia went up there and talked about you know you forgot you know don't forget that gerald is also a uh you know he's a debt-free husband who uh, is a u.s citizen because at this particular point in time we know that simon has been fighting with the u.s government for citizenship and they keep denying his ass OK, how are you making all of these millions of dollars and you've been doing legal business for all of these years and they still saying no? OK, if you got it like that, you know, why they not? Oh, he's an upstanding man. He's been paying his taxes. He's been doing right by uh, this country. Yeah, let's give him U.S. citizenship. But why do you keep being flagged in the system? It's because you're a former fraud, sir. You're a former fraud and they don't trust you. OK. They don't trust you. Anyways. All right. So Simon took to Instagram stories to write the benefits to American citizenship are the right to vote in federal elections, the ability to travel freely with a U.S. passport, access to government benefits and programs such as Social Security and Medicare, eligibility for certain jobs that require U.S. citizenship, such as government positions were reserved for U.S. citizens. He says, in my case, as a green card holder. The only limitations I have is the privilege of voting in U.S. elections and relying on government benefits. Neither one hinders my presence in the United States. I have dedicated my life to striving for financial independence and providing for my family and community. Uh, okay. How Whoopi Goldberg said, okay. Okay, well, that's cute and everything. But then it begs the question, well, why did Portia leave you? 
Why did Portia uh, leave you? And I want to believe that Portia really did love this man. But now I kind of want to believe she didn't really care about him being a fraudster back in the day. She didn't, she, 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 you know, don't care about him being a U.S. citizen or not. I think what's making me feel a little bit better about the situation is the possibility maybe Portia defrauded the fraudster. Okay. Maybe Portia did take Fallon Man to take some of this 40 million or to benefit from the 40 million. <laughs> Despite the debt, right? So that she could get a three year break from Housewives so that she didn't have to work no more for a few years. Okay. Get that head, get that bread, then leave. That's what it's giving because why did, why did she leave you? Why did she leave you if the U.S. citizenship doesn't really affect you even though you keep applying? You're saying that it really doesn't affect you, right? So if it doesn't affect you, why would, it, why would it affect Portia? Which begs the question, well, why did Portia leave? Hmm. Maybe she was using you. Maybe she was using you. Maybe she was using you to live in the Sandy Springs mansion and to you know, be in the PJs and the private jets. And, you know, she took it as a three-year vacation, three-year paid leave. Mwah. CD girls up by a thousand. I mean, I'm just saying, because at this point, I kind of want to believe that at this point, because this man is so incessantly annoying. You're annoying. You're so annoying. Okay. Then he did a QA, and a So let's go ahead. Oh. I think he responded to Portia um, when she said, oh, Gerald is debt free and a U.S. citizen and whatever. He wrote, despite not holding U.S. citizenship, this immigrant with 34 plus years of impeccable credit history secured a seven million dollar home. The property is now inhabited by a U.S. citizen who just uh, was once married to me for precisely 453 days. Just imagine that. Uh, OK. Um, OK, so I did have that up there. Okay, somebody asked in his comments, so why keep applying for citizenship? And then he claims that he keeps reapplying because he wants to vote. Okay, I wonder for who? Probably Trump. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, all of Porsche's men's is, is MAGA, so it wouldn't really surprise me. Um, somebody wrote, so why has she filed Porsche? Why has Porsche filed for divorce from you is my question. He wrote, ask her. That's a question for her. Another person asked, Simon, if that is the case, why did she file for divorce? I'm so confused. Did you tell her that you were a U.S. citizen initially? Um, Simon Gobadia said she traveled over 30 times internationally uh, with me. She knew I had legal residency. This is public court filings. This is all in public court filings and will come out in litigation. Okay, so to me, I interpret that as no. I didn't really give her details about my past nor my current status. But if she wanted to know, it would have been up to her because it's public information. That's how I'm viewing his response there. All right. So somebody said, did you all even have a real conversation about this or whatever alleged crime you committed to cause this rush to divorce? I'm just curious. Um, first off, Portia never cited that she's leaving Simon because he committed a crime. What I've learned through my reading is that she is citing the fact that she feels like she didn't know her husband or her husband wasn't forthcoming with certain information. OK. Um, but this person says, I'm just curious to understand what was so terrible that couldn't be worked out. Great question. Um, one week you're on vacation jet skiing and giggling and two weeks later divorcing. He said, well, you're going to have to ask her. So, yeah. I always believe that Simon and Portia had a genuine relationship. Um, I think it was genuine, but now I'm kind of wanting it to be like, okay, I saw an opportunity. I saw a cash cow and I, cow, cash cow and I took it. Um, I kind of want that to be the case now because he's just irritating the fuck out of me. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.